it is better to look forward and prepare than to look back and regret hello everyone myself nigar sultana i welcome you all to rn digital learnings in this video we are going to discuss the quick sort watch this video till the end to know the fastest sorting technique which is based on the divide and conquer we are going to consider the first element or the last elements as a pivot element we are going to take this pivot element and place it into the correct position left element of the pivot element will be lesser than the pivot element and the right side element will be greater than the pivot element now let's understand this quick sort technique with the help of an example and logic now let's move on to our computer screen now let's understand this quick sort with the help of function and an example of an array we have used two functions here that is quick sort as well as partition why do we use this partition we use this partition to divide an array start comparing the pivot element with the i and j and whatever we get the sub arrays to that we will again repeat the quick sort with the help of this quick sort function so this is an example of an array we have totally six elements which start from the zero index till five now we will consider this first element as our pivot element we can consider the 71 also as a pivot element but in this example we will take 45 as our pivot element so this is an another function named as partition so as i have told you we will be taking we will be considering an element or an data that is pivot okay we have used three variables pivot i and j so here the value or zero that is our lowest index low is equals to zero and high is equals to five we will be assigning the value of pivot to zero i is also low that is zero and j is high so j is equals to zero pivot is equals to low that is zero so we have consider an example we have taken the value of pivot as low pivot value is low low value is my zero then we have i value that is low is zero again and j value is high that is five now after assigning these variables let's check the condition whether i that is zero is less than five true when this is true enter into the loop we have one more while condition that is i should be lesser than high what is i here zero is zero high is five that is i is lesser than 5 and we have one more condition a of i i is 0 a of 0 is lesser than or equals to pivot is 0 a of pivot is check the condition a of 0 is 45 less than or equals to 45 both are true if this condition is true i must increment the value of i earlier the value of i was 0 now it has incremented to 1 now let's see the diagram of this earlier the i value was at 0 and pivot was also 0 j was at high that is 5 after executing this statement i has been incremented because both the conditions are true i was pointing to 0 then it has been incremented now i is pointing to 1 yes again run this while loop that is i i value is 1 is i is lesser than high that is 1 is lesser than 5 and a of i that is a of 1 is lesser than or equals to a of pivot pivot is 0 still a of 1 is 36 lesser than or equals to 45 this is also true when this is true i must increment the value of i that is i was earlier 1 now it has been incremented to 2 i has been shifted from 1 to 2 yes i is equals to 2 again run this while loop that is 
is 2 lesser than i is 5 and a of 2 less than or equals to a of pi over pi over is still 0 that is a of 2 is 15 is less than or equals to 45 both the conditions are to increment the value of i earlier the value of i was 2 now it has been incremented it is 3 from 2 to 3 i has been shifted i is 3 check the condition is 3 lesser than 5 and a of i that is a of 3 lesser than or equals to a of pi that is 0 a of 3 is 92 lesser than or equals to 45 this is false if this is false no need of incrementing this again check the while condition we have one more while condition that is a of j j value is 5 greater than a of pi weight is 0 what is a of 5 71 is greater than 45 this is true if this is true i must decrement the value of j the j value was 5 now it after decrementing it has been changed to 4 see in this array j was pointing to 5 when we have decremented the j has been shifted to fourth position again run the same while loop that is j is equals to 4 a of 4 should be greater than a of pi weight that is 0 what is a of 4 35 greater than 45 is this true it is false when this is false no need of decrementing the value of j you can directly move to this if condition now we know that the value of i is 3 and j is 4 right when this becomes false i must check the condition of this what is the i value is 3 lesser than j that is 4 this is true this part is used for swapping i and j value has been swapped what is the value of i that is 92 the value of j is 35 now earlier the i value was 92 and j value was 35 after swapping this what happens the value of i will be 35 that is the exact value of i and j value will be 92 now let's see yes the i was pointing to 3 3 is holding 35 and j that is 4 is holding 92 when this part is done check the while loop i is 3 j is 4 now what is this i is 3 lesser than 5 and a of i that is a of 3 is lesser than or equal to pi what is still 0 what is a of 3 35 lesser than or equals to 45 this is true when this is true i must increment the value of i it earlier it was 3 now it has become 4 both i and j pointing to the fourth position of the array so i value is 4 j value is also 4 now again run this while loop until we get the false condition so what is i is 4 less than 5 and we have a of i that is 4 less than or equals to a of pi weight so what is a of 4 92 less than or equals to a of 0 is 45 is this true it's false when this is false no need of incrementing this instead of this check the another while loop condition that is a of j j is 4 a of 4 greater than a of pi that is 0 what is a of 4 that is 92 greater than 45 this is true if this is true decrement the value of j earlier the j was 4 now after decrementing it has become 3 let's see see in the previous array j was pointing to 4 when we decrement this j has been placed in the third position now the j is pointing to 3 
yes when this is true again run this while loop i is 4 j is 3 a of 3 should be greater than a of pi what is 0 what is a of 3 35 greater than 45 this is false stop this while loop check this condition i is 4 is 4 greater than 3 this is also false then no need of executing this part now we need to execute another part that is see when this i and j cross over we need to swap the pivot element and j element that is pivot element is 45 and j element so this is my pivot element j element is 35 now we need to swap 45 and 35 35 has been shifted to the pivot part and 45 is shifted to the j part now we can see that 45 is being placed in the correct position left of this part of the 45 are smaller than the 45 and the right side of the pivot element that is 45 are greater than the pivot element see 35 36 15 are the lesser than 45 92 71 are the greater than the 45 now i must recursively solve the left part by using the partition again so now the partition in this partition function we have pivot that is low so what is the low here pivot is equals to zero again i value is low that is zero again j is equals to high is two here now check this condition is i that is one lesser than two yes it is true now enter into the loop we have one more while condition that is is 0 less than 2 and a of i is nothing but 0 a of 0 is less than or equal to a of 0 now what is a of 0 35 less than or equals to 35 yes it is true when it is true i must increment the value of i now earlier i value was 0 now it has been changed to 1 initially the pivot and j value was pointing to low when when this condition becomes false i must increment the value of i now i is pointing to 1 i value is 1 j value is 2 still now again check this condition is 1 less than 2 and a of i that is 1 less than or equals to a of 0 now compare this a of i that is 36 less than or equals to 35 this is false no need of in incrementing instead of that check the another while condition that is a of j is 2 greater than a of pivot that is a of 0 what is a of 2 that is 15 is greater than 35 this is also false when this falls no need of de decrementing check the if condition that is i is lesser than 2 this is true when this is true i must swap the value of i as well as j the i value is 36 and j value is 15 now this part will get swapped 15 is been placed in the first position and 36 is been shifted to the second position now i is 1 j is equals to 2 again run this while loop that is is 1 greater than 2 this is true and we have one more that is a of i a of i is 1 is lesser than or equals to a of pi what is 0 what is a of 1 15 is less than or equals to 35 this is true when this is true i must increment the value of i earlier the i value was 1 now it has been changed to 2 now i and j both are placed in the second position i is equals to 2 j is also 2 
again check the condition is 2 less than 2 and a of i that is a of 2 is less than or equals to a of pi bit. a of 2 is 36 less than or equals to 35. So, both the condition are false. So, now when these conditions are false, no need of executing this statement. Move to the next while statement that is a of j is 2 is greater than pi bit is 0 is 36 greater than 35 it is true when it is true decrement the value of j earlier the j value was 2 now the j value is 1 yes earlier the j was placed as 2 now it has been decremented and placed at the previous position when j gets decremented the value of j is 1 now right now again let us run this while loop that is a of j that is 1 lesser than a of pi that is 0 what is a of 1 that is 15 a is greater than 35 this is false when this is false no need of decrementing instead of that we must swap the values right so now so here the value of i is 2 and j value is 1 so this condition fails so no need of executing this we need to swap this process that is the pivot value as well as j value. So, the pivot value is what 35 and j value is 15. Now, this both gets swapped. When this both gets swapped, 35 will move to the first position and 15 will go to the 0th position. Now, this part is being sorted. So, this is a pivot element. Now, what happens? Again, we must use the quick sort to the right hand side. When we use this, what happens? 71 will uh, be placed in the left hand side and 92 will be placed into the right hand side. When we merge this, we will get this resulting array that is 15, 35, 36, 45, 71, and 92. So, this is a sorting technique which is based on the quick sort which is also known as fastest sorting technique. Stay tuned to watch our next video on next sorting technique. Do like our video, share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.